Now, what can be more evocative of the great days of the Navy in the Second World War than a ship's bell? Now, HMS Havelock, what do you know about it? Well, What's your connection? Um, my connection um, with the bell is that it was given to my father, who was a captain. Um, well, when he retired, he was a captain. Um, and he had captained HMS Havelock um, during the Second World War. Mm. And um, they were on the North Atlantic convoys then. When the war broke out, we were unprepared, as the English always are, and there were a number of ships being built in various British shipyards for foreign navies. And under building at that time were a set of six Brazilian destroyers, and we requisitioned those. We gave them all H names. Now, the Havelock was one of that set of six. Um, the Brazilian name was going to be, forgive my Brazilian, the Dutahe or something like that. <laughs> and she was commissioned on the 7th of May, 1940. And her first action was at Narvik in the Norway campaign, and that, of course, was a very crucial action, um, one of the first attempts to stop the Germans spreading through Europe. So she went straight into a major action. Yes. And I think we were kept alive by very small ships on convoy duties at that time, and this yes. was obviously one of that class. Yes. Yes. That's right, and, and you realise now when you see a modern warship, which has a, an enclosed bridge, and they're all very comfortable oh, in the yes. bridge. Very in those days, they were, they were out in the in the north winds yes. and gales and, and snows in yes. the north Atlantic. Now, what, you have a diary there. Yes, he meticulously kept a diary every day from 1916, I think. Really? Every day of his life? Yes, he wrote um, a, a, a every day during the war. Um, Good heavens. With, Extraordinary record. Yes, and, and some of the domestic details are, are superb. Wonderful. Well, this is not almost opened at random. March the 9th, 1942 to fuel in case we were wanted after the Tirpitz, good heavens, <laughs> which was out yesterday, set off in lovely calm weather and arrived at 18.30, oiled and brought lots of eggs. <laughs> well, <there laughs> Wonderful <you> contrast. <laughs> the Tirpitz, in the greatest German battleship, yes. then to domestic details. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Dinner aft and slipped at 21.15, out safely, lovely calm, clear light, 12 knots only, 2300 hours. <laughs> I think this is a fantastic document. Yes. Yes. I think the original ultimately might go to something like the Imperial War Museum, but you yes. must yes. keep a copy yes. for the family. Yes. 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 Now, people collect ships' memorabilia, but obviously it relates very much to the status of the ship. This was clearly quite an important ship, yes. and obviously that affects the value. I and mean, obviously, you, to you, it's a family piece, mm. and you mustn't think about the value. But I have to say, we're looking at something like £800,000, possibly more for a bell that is off a ship of, of great significance. Really? Yeah. So thank you very much for bringing it in. It's a lovely story. And one day I'd love to see a transcript of the whole story. <laughs> right. All the years. A life's work. <laughs> a life's work. Thank you very much. That's all right. Thank you.